Hello and welcome to Manu Video Game Maker new beta release. The newest feature we introduced this time is the Game User Interface Toolkit. With it, you can create any type of UI, whether it's a minimap, an inventory, or a basic menu interface. The toolkit is located in the new Game UI tab. You can start by adding a UI container, a place that will contain all your UI elements. The UI container can be resized and positioned exactly where it is needed. The container can adjust its position in relation with the screen, top or bottom, left and right, or at the center. When you add a new UI element, an empty canvas appears. Like before, this element can be resized and positioned while it adjusts its position in relation with the UI container. Like any other asset in Manu, you can set a material for the UI element by clicking on the Materials tab. You can add as many UI elements as you like inside a single container. You can change the object order of these elements and make them appear on the top, at the bottom, behind or in front of other UI elements. You can also manually drag and drop in the order you like inside the assets tree. These elements can be duplicated, renamed, and positioned where you like. Like this, you can create a menu interface really quick with minimum effort. Both the UI container and the UI elements can be inserted in an animation and animate their properties. If, for example, you would like to make the menu appear with the press of a key, you can import the container in the timeline and enable all child elements. Various properties of the UI elements can be animated, like the position and the rotation of the element, the size and the familiar material properties as well. Opacity, color, texture offset, and tiling. Entire canvas can be zoomed in and out to match your game preferences. Another useful feature of the new UI toolkit is the Clip Content option. When working with an oversized map, for example, enable the clip content of the container, and this will clip the UI elements that are outside the container. Now the map can be rotated and positioned either manually or through animations to create a minimap for your game. The object order will help you rearrange the order of your UI elements. Whether you are building a game menu, a quest tracking arrow for your game, or a compass to find your way, the new Game UI Toolkit just simplifies this process for you. Also, there's a video tutorial on how to set up a mouse within Manu. 
This feature is also introduced in this beta update. Don't forget to subscribe to Manu channel for future updates. Stay tuned for more.